never heard of Christian Vega, and I have done nothing wrong. We never suggested you had. We just need you to come down with us and answer some questions. Who are you? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm uh, District Attorney Nora Hannon, and these are Officer Saeed and Vega. Vega? Christian Vega's my brother. Could you come with us, please? Please? One, one moment. This is, uh, this is a mistake. I'll talk to you when I finish with these people. We are still going home to Colombia. Christian Vega. And you never heard of him? I never heard of him. And I never seen him. Can you explain why you were suddenly released from Plato Prison? The authorities realized I was an innocent man. Was there a new trial? It wasn't needed. My attorney gave all the documents to the judge who presided over the custody hearing. You should talk to him. And we will. Don't I get a phone call? Be my guest. Wonderful. He's going to call. He's giving us nothing. No, he's not the only one. Every request for information I've made to Black Prison has been denied. John said that place was totally corrupt. Someone paid for Montes' release. And he doesn't want to give that someone up. I need help when I'm at the police station. What are you doing there? They brought me in for questioning about uh, some, some guy named uh, Christian Vega. He's missing. Do you know anything about that? No. I never heard of the man. Well, you just sit tight and for God's sake, don't say anything. I don't think so. This lady DA is kind of tough. Nora, hold you in. Excuse me. Someone wants to speak with you. This is D.A. Hannon. Why the hell did you haul Montez in? To whom am I speaking? You know exactly who you're talking to. Now, why are you questioning Montez uh, about Christian Vega? Guess what, Clint? Christian Vega disappeared about the same time that you bought Montez out of prison. Now, I don't know if the two are related, so I wouldn't take that tone with me, Mr. Buchanan. And if you have a problem with the way I do my job, then maybe you shouldn't be living with the DA. Mr. Montez, where were we? It, it can't be... I don't have to talk to you. Yeah, you do. Sit down, Mr. Montez. When Christian Vega was last seen at Plato Prison, sit down, Mr. Montez. When Christian Vega was last seen at Plato Prison, he was wearing a jumpsuit with your name on it. Wow. Well, I'm sorry for him. I never cared too much for that jumpsuit. But I don't know the man. And I suppose you also don't know this man, Carlo Hesse, a.k.a. Mortimer Byrne. Um, mm -hmm. No. Senor Montes. He arrived in the United States on the same flight as a man named Jared Banks. That's right, uh, that's right. But as the DA is aware, I, I came here to conduct business with Clint Buchanan. That true? Yeah. And your sudden desire to obtain custody of your niece Langston Wilde, that was just a side benefit to your trip? The, the court approved my request for custody. Uh, it was all perfectly legal. Okay, so you got out of prison and you went into business with Clint Buchanan and then you won custody of your only living relative from Dorian Lord. You've had kind of an awesome week here in Landview. Okay, Senor Montes? Connection to Clint McKenna, and you chose to say nothing. See, I don't want this. You really.
experience in San Antonio. One's connection to Montez. Nothing to do with Christian's disappearance. How do you know? I'm not at liberty to discuss that with you. I really don't think he knows anything about Christian. Okay. Well, let's hold him for 24 hours and maybe he'll change his story. Yeah. Now give us a chance to touch base with John. Since he's the one who put us onto this guy in the first place. Okay. And maybe someone should speak to Clint. Come with us, Mr. Montez. Please. Where am I going? You'll find out. Adios, Ray.